Hello everyone, Sigler here, Orc, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So I actually got my PC to work again, which made me very happy. I'm unfortunately, uh, well, the Cataclysm has launched, but I'm about to go to bed because I'm gonna work tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to, like, make this video on why I see enchanting to be, a, like, more of a gathering profession and I always have pretty much and the thing is like you can look up the different kind of uh, like dusts and essences from different uh, uh, different kind of uh, disenchant and the loot and everything and for example uh, over there you can see videos of me uh, farming in uh, black rock spire and the reason for that was because I saw that the large brilliant shard and the uh, lesser eternal essence and also the illusion dust is like pretty expensive at the moment. So I wanted to like stack up a little bit on it. Uh, uh, well, I haven't done it, but I'm gonna do it. Um, but it's just an example of stuff that you can farm and why I see it uh, more of a, a gathering profession for first and foremost often because uh, the good thing with it as you can see let's let's see like uh, let's say I want to post a large brilliant chart and it's gonna cost this much and I can like it doesn't matter how long I will set it for because it's always that the deposit fee is always zero and if I would put it on an enchant, uh, let's say that I would do, uh, I don't have any mats now, but let's say I wanted to craft uh, this one, the superior, uh, superior impact. Like once I crafted it, it will have a deposit fee. And sure, I, like I will craft these things eventually and maybe have like two or three at a time up on the auction house and but like I don't want to have too much of it because some of them sell very slowly and if you overproduce and you sell a lot of them the deposit fee is gonna hurt you in the long run because you just keep reposting let's say that you made uh, 25 or even 50 of them and the, the deposit fee is gonna be more like let's say that you eventually sell something for I don't know X amount of gold and you will be like oh nice a sold one but maybe at that point you have spent like more more money on the deposit fee than what you actually profit from it so me like I usually have always made it so like I looked up what's the price on the auction house is on it and see like if it's a profit or not uh, well the crafting cost and if the crafting cost is like this for example the profit is minus usually I just sell the mat because it, it, it like I will sell it eventually and sure it might not be for example the large brilliant shard this is probably like temporarily because as you can see mean buyout is usually 499 or region sale average is 642 six gold and 42 silver and but yeah it's very nice uh, like profession to have and yeah it's just a simple reason why I always have enchanting and it's such a great combo in like all kind of dungeons always because the, the the nice thing now in cataclysm is that uh it's gonna be like a lot of the greens some of them might be like a nice looking transmog or something so you can actually like put it on the auction house because it's like that or it has like a very good stat it could be like of the bear or stamina or something like that that is very sought after but some of the pieces is like it depends on the vendor price on it if the vendor price is more than what you will get 
it's more worth vendoring it because of the the, the gold but it, like you, you will have to to look look it up and like what is the best for this specific item like is it worth to post the item on the auction house is it worth to disenchant or is it worth to vendor so it's like you have always three options well you actually have four options actually because if you disenchant it you can use the disenchant mats to actually to 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 do the to do the enchants to put them on the uh, enchanting vellum uh, these ones and put that on the wild on the auction house as well but I mean it's such a great uh, like this is the reason why it's my favorite because if you if I'm if I'm out there farming in a, let's say this dungeon over here the black rock spire and I farm until my bags is full uh, usually it's like I can if I have like TSM on or something because I I can do it like this slash TSM destroy okay I don't have any greens right now but usually when I loot something the a window will, will pop up and I can press destroy now and it will this it will disenchant that item the thing is that it's gonna free my bag space because Let's say I have a lot of greens and all of them is turning into lesser eternal essence. If I have 20 items and I disenchant them and if they turn into to 20 lesser eternal essence, basically if I started with 20 greens, that is taking up 20 slots. But when I disenchant them, they will turn into one slot because they stack up to 20. And you can even make the lesser eternal essences to greater eternal essences so you can actually save even more space so you can just keep going and yeah it's just perfect to do that and yeah it's just the way that i'm thinking and i've always had thought of enchanting just it's like a gathering profession for me first and foremost because it's the perfect way that I play, which is soloing dungeon, and it's a perfect match with skinning. Because, for example, in this one, the dragonkins are skinnable, which makes it so they will drop the thick leather and also the rugged leather. So, and I mean, you you get like one or two of them, and. So technically, if I get one dragon kin and I skin, uh, kill it and skin it, uh, it's like one one and a half gold for each skin on it. So yeah, that's just a small little tip and the reason why I see it as a gathering profession for first and foremost, first and foremost, <laughs> I can't even speak. But yeah, uh, if you click this video over here, you will see why this DK will be my new main in uh, Cataclysm. And uh, the release of Cataclysm has been re released. And I wish you a very nice leveling. And I hope that you will thrive in Cataclysm Classic. And uh, uh, consider to like and subscribe to the channel if you felt like this is helping you. If it didn't, I hope that you already knew about this. And if you knew it, if you already did, that's awesome. But click this video and I'll greet you over there. Bork, bork.